Welcome back to Project Innovation. It's rapid prototyping time. No rules, no boundaries, just imagination. Our teams have four hours to create a prototype for a product that could become a member of the Elite KC consumer product family. Here we are, three hours into our project, and so far our teams have parceled out, they've examined their materials, strategized with their engineers, and now they're working feverishly to create something fresh and new. These teams are focused, that's why we're about to stir things up. I'd like to introduce you to our three consumers. Four consumers! Four! All right, mate, relax, that's enough, that's enough. My show, here we go. Every team will now present their prototype, gather feedback, and then make any adjustments before taking it to the leadership team for review. Oh, come on! Push the collie wobbles away, and let's get to it! When Gladys put on our coat, I was very concerned. She seemed skeptical. A disposable coat? Yes! For rain? Yes! Won't it get heavy when it gets wet? Well, I'm not wet at all. <laughs> but my arm is much heavier. Oh, I think so. I think that's, it'll be lighter. that's better. I loved it. But I'm just really into water conservation. You seen that fish are supposed to be super absorbent? Yes, why don't you give them a try right now? Yeah. They're very uncomfortable. May I take them off now? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Leo definitely wasn't feeling the undergarment. We put too much emphasis on absorbency and not enough on style and comfort. What did you think? Well, it's different. I know, don't you just love it? Love is such a strong word, dear. My concern is really with absorbency and leakage. Looking great is good, but feeling dry and confident is what's most important. I call it like I see it. They tried. They just fell a little flat. Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing a truly magical event. The teams appear to be collaborating, combining their ideas to come up with a prototype that KC consumers can really connect with. In the Innovation Kingdom, I've discovered that this technique of the mastermind is highly effective. By combining all of our ideas, we feel very confident we can create something that will make a positive difference in the lives of our consumers someday. He's in shape. It's time to present the team's individual prototypes. Let's get at it. Each team started with a single prototype. Team one. We developed a super absorbent disposable raincoat, but it was impractical to wear because it became increasingly heavy and uncomfortable when it got wet. Mm. Like my great aunt Bertha after a hot yoga session. She is a beast. Team two. We designed an ultra absorbent, easy to remove adult undergarment. In the market now, we have good absorption, but we feel the future is extreme absorption. I am really feeling you there, dude. I too have learned a lot from Mountain Dew. Team three. We designed an amazingly stylish adult undergarment that could strut on the runways of Paris. Quite an achievement in form, but we forgot to focus on function. Like a kitty litter box without the kitty litter. I've been there twice. Now let's see what happened when you all collaborated. I'd like to introduce you to the future of adult undergarments. It's thin, yet it absorbs 20% more than our top performing product, thanks to Casey's newest ultra-thin absorbent fabrics. Its sleek design allows for a more comfortable fit and a discreet profile. It allows users to quickly and discreetly take them on and off. Now, did the product address all consumer concerns? It does. Well done, team. This prototype definitely deserves further thought and evaluation. Congratulations, you may have created the next big thing. No rules, no boundaries. Imagine it, build it. Your opportunity to participate in the next innovation session is right around the corner. 
And who knows, you just might be the one who innovates the next big thing.